So, did you hook it up? Yeah, I wired it through the cable. Channel 3 on every TV in the house. Great idea I had about putting a baby cam in, huh? Come on, give me some props. You never gave the cowbell a chance. <laughs> Come on, this is great. A couple of times a day we flick it on, we check in on him, he never has to know. So how'd you get the camera in his room without him seeing you? I lured him outside with peanuts. <laughs> what? I put a bag of peanuts in the backyard. He went out and ate them, like a squirrel. <laughs> Look, he's still eating them. Oh, you really made his day, honey. All right, I feel better already. Thank you so much. What's the matter? Nothing. Just dealing with the horror of having to see his face on the thing I love most. <laughs> That's done. Next thing, keep Monday night open. I have our insurance guy coming over. Monday night? That's football. I have company coming over. Company? That's right. I can call my friend's company. Yeah, well, tell your company they can get drunk and thumb wrestle without you. Why do we got to meet with the insurance guy anyway? Because, honey, this whole thing with my dad getting sick got me thinking. I mean, all kinds of bad stuff can happen to us, and we're not prepared. I mean, we don't even have any life insurance. Yeah, we do. No, we don't. Uh, yeah, we do. I got it when I signed up for that Sears card, remember? I checked that box. That's for $2,500. That's not enough. Well, I see someone's planning to live pretty high on the hog when I'm dead. Come on, we're getting more insurance. We need to start planning for our future. I have plans for our future. Besides owning a robot. Fine, now I'm going to program him not to love you. <laughs> Forty-five to three. It's a blowout. Now we gotta hope someone breaks their leg and they keep showing it. <laughs> Man, Doug picked a good game to miss. Anything else, on? Uh, let's see. Mannequin two. TV Guide channel. <laughs> what in the Sam Hill? Oh, uh, this is my baby cam. Uh, Doug and Carrie borrowed it to keep an eye on Arthur. He doesn't know he's on TV? Nope. All right, come on, keep flipping. Oh, okay. Um, oh, wait, what's he doing? <laughs> Looks like he's taking some clothes out of the dryer. Huh. <laughs> so, of course, if Doug were to die suddenly, Carrie, you would receive the maximum payout of this policy. Uh-huh, uh-huh. But if Doug were to, say, sustain a massive head injury, which he survives, the good news is this policy would cover his hospital stay, his physical therapy, and any life support. That is good news. <laughs> Look at this. He's putting his underwear in the bottom drawer. Who does that? Underwear is top drawer, am I right? Where I come from. <laughs> Whoa, wait, he's going back to the dryer? Oh, yeah, he put in another load. He, when? When you were peeing. What? Why don't you tell me these things? Oh, man. Uh-oh, look, look. He left the sock in the dryer. Fasten your seatbelts, gentlemen. Okay, he'll see it, he'll see it. I don't think so, man. It's right there, hanging out of the dryer. He doesn't see it, he's confused. Oh, God! It's right there, damn it! Turn around! It's uh, two feet from your head, guy. Throw it in the garbage. This, this is terrible. Okay, I think that the term life policy offered by Western Mutual is best for you, so why don't we roll up our sleeves and get to the nitty gritty? <laughs> okay, you own this house and you pay a mortgage. Yes. And Carrie. If Doug were to pass away, you would stay here and your father, Arthur, would continue to live here with you? Yes, definitely. And if you were to pass away, would your father continue to live here with Doug? Oh, of course. Great. <laughs> Let's move on to some payment options. People, a lot of people like to pay it annually, take the medicine one spoonful, or we could break it down.